welcome to today's vlog. My name is Amelia and this is my channel Sew Amelia where I talk all about making a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. Welcome if you're new, it's lovely to have you watching my video and if you are a subscriber welcome back. I have just finished doing the school run and before I start on some chores and things I thought I would just have five minutes piece to start off my day. We did decorate in the weekend. The children very proudly put up all of their handmade decorations and things on our tree and it's just lovely sitting here in the glow of the fairy lights after a cold and wet school drop-off. So I'm snuggled up in a blanket and this is just a ready-to-wear cardigan but underneath I am wearing my Rowan bodysuit which I absolutely love. It's such a great base layer in the winter time. I love that it's a bodysuit and then I don't need to worry about it rucking up underneath skirts and pinafores and things and I am wearing a ready-to-wear corduroy skirt today as well. Just a nice cozy outfit for this cooler wintry weather we're having. So thank you to all of you who commented on my last video about the tea towel saga. I had so much amazing advice, it was fantastic, so thank you if you commented. And you'll see from the footage at the start of the video, I decided to take the advice of one of the commenters and whip stitch the corners closed. So rather than unpicking anything, I have just been whipping these little corners closed with a few whip stitches. That I think will secure them enough. I absolutely adore hand sewing. One of my goals for next year is actually to hand sew a complete garment of clothing, either for me or my daughter. I find it really relaxing, so I've just been sitting on the couch, snuggled up, and finishing off some of these tea towels. So I'm much more pleased with the finish of those. I absolutely adore this fabric, but I couldn't face unpicking. So that's what I've decided to do. I've whipped those corners closed, and then they'll be ready to gift. As a reward for finishing off the tea towels, I thought I would sew something for myself, or at least start sewing something for myself today. Now, in my last video, you will have seen I had three different ideas of things that I might sew for myself. Some very practical pajama trousers, and a beautiful snuggly vest, and then a gorgeous new craft house everyday dress in some Lady McElroy cotton lawn. Now what I've decided to sew probably quite impractically, but not unsurprisingly, I'm sure, for those of you who've watched my vlogs before, I'm going to go for the dress. I think it will just bring me a lot of joy in these dark, wintry days, and I just want to sew it up. So I'm going to finish up this tea towel now. I've got a few more chores and things that need to be done, because that's life. But then after that, I'm going to see if I can get a start on cutting out the pattern. I haven't cut out the paper pattern yet, because I need to decide on sizes. So I'm going to look at that, decide on a size, and get cutting out. Okay, so here's the size chart. Now, I have lost a little weight recently. So my bust is now 35 inches, and my waist is now 29 inches. So that puts me between a size 10 and a 12 for the waist. Now, my hip is still 41 inches, but I don't think I need to worry about that, as the dress is quite full at the hip. So what I do often is I go down and I look at the finished measurements. Now, the size 10 it gives me 37 inches across the bust as a finished measurement and 41 inches at the waist so I think that will be fine for my waist even though my waist is between a 10 and a 12 on the size chart. I did wonder about sizing down to an 8 but that gives me 35 3 quarter inches as a finished chest measurement which I just think is going to be a little on the snug side. It does look like it's quite fitted here across the chest and I don't want that to be too fitted. I am a bit worried it'll be a bit loose and billowy across the waist but I can always add some waist ties later on if I decide I want to cinch that in a little bit more across the waist. Right, so I've cut all of the pieces out. I'm really glad. I think I had three meters of fabric. Now, because I shortened the tiers, I had enough fabric and a little bit left over, but I'm very glad I had three meters of fabric because it is quite a fabric hungry pattern. So the only piece I haven't cut out is this bias binding strip. I had enough fabric left before I cut out the pockets. You'll see I cut the pockets from here. It just seemed wasteful to cut this out of one piece of fabric. So what I think I'm going to do is cut a rectangle of the fabric here uh, and then cut it into bias binding strips, join them together and make sort of a bias binding from a rectangle of the fabric rather than just cut a great big piece out of here. Good morning. I'm up in the sewing room. We're going to see how far we can get with this project today. I am of course working on the everyday dress. 
I've got all my binding pieces here so I'm going to start with that this morning just a nice easy project to slowly get me into sewing with this fabric and getting this dress made I've looked at the instructions they're great and I think I'm gonna have a go at getting this bodice pieced together this morning I've got an hour or so to sew now jobs have been done so I'm gonna get on with some sewing and see if I can get this dress made by the end of the week <laughs> to stop I've got to go and do some things I have a bodice well I mean almost <laughs> the sides aren't sewn up until you pop the sleeves in so that's what I've got so far I'm not happy with this neckline I think because it's such a light lawn I have used the lawn for the bias binding as well but it's just pulling a little bit as it sits now I stretched the bias binding as I sewed it down but you can just see it's pulling away a little bit here and I just wouldn't be happy with that so I think what I'm going to do after I get back this afternoon is unpick that because I'm just not going to be happy with it and I will hand sew it down I just think that makes it neater and then it allows a bit more freedom of movement because the stitches are slightly smaller and then I won't get this line of stitching at the top which I just think spoils the line a little bit so that's it so far that's the front and then the back has got this button loop at the top not on that side apparently, on this side, and that's just been caught in the bias binding. So yeah, I'm gonna go down and do a few things now, and then I shall unpick that as my next step. So whether or not I get it finished today, I don't know. I'm not very good at sewing a dress in a day because I'm just a bit pedantic with the fine details. And you will have seen, I like to hand sew things. I hand sewed the button loop just to make it really nice and neat. And I was going to hand sew the binding, and then I thought, no, 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 do it on the machine, you'll be fine. Should have listened to my gut instincts. Hand sewing for me is life, so I shall hand sew that down later. Hello. So it's the evening now. The children and I had a lovely afternoon. They were very tired. I think it's been a long term and they've all been really busy with nativities and school shows and choir concerts and all sorts. So we actually had a lovely tea in front of a Christmas movie which was really lovely and they've all gone to bed really early which is nice. So I've got all the jobs done downstairs and I thought I would pop up and see how much more of this dress I can get sewn tonight. So I finished the bodice. Oh my goodness look at those colours. I love it. And I've popped on the sleeves. They are quite voluminous and I absolutely love it. So you can see, I just think those colours are something else. They're just brightening up my evening, so I'm really glad I decided to sneak this project in. So you'll also see from this that I did end up hand stitching the bias binding on. I just did a very little hand picked seam around the edge there, and I, I really like that so much more. It sits better and it is very nearly invisible, which I really, really like. So I'm really glad I did that. So the next step is to do the cuffs for these sleeves and I'm going to do the same thing with those. That is to say I'm going to hand stitch the cuffs on. I just prefer that as a finish when you can't see the stitching around the top of the cuff. I think it looks really neat. Just personal preference but I also do love a bit of hand sewing so that's to be done. And then it's uh, popping on a button and doing the gathered skirts. Now the gathered skirts are not difficult but gathering can take a little while, so I think I'm going to catch up on some Vlogmas episodes that I have not yet watched and get on with some gathering. Gathering sleeves, gathering skirts, and we'll see if I can get this done tonight. I mean, I've got a couple of hours before bedtime, so we'll see how I get on.
it's Friday and I'm popping on to close out the vlog for this week. I had two days this week to make this dress. It was a last minute project I decided to throw into my sewing list because I just wanted a project for myself and to sew something fun in amidst all of the lovely gift sewing that I've been doing for Christmas. But I did only have a couple of days this week to sew. My children are busy at school, busy with their activities, and we've had lots of Christmas concerts and nativities, and it's just so lovely, and I want to make sure I'm enjoying all of these moments with my children while they're still young. So I did only have a couple of days this week to get this sewn up. So did I manage it? Sadly, no. Sadly, I'm not sure. I've been thinking about this because I obviously would love to have finished this and shown you a finished dress at the end of the video, but this is the reality. I have a very lovely peplum top actually, and I think I will definitely make this one again as a peplum top because I do love the way that this looks, but I do have the skirts ready to add on, but it's quite a gathered tier, the lower tier, and it's going to take me quite a while to gather that up and then hem it as well. So I haven't got to that, but not far to go really. So I did almost finish it. And had I had a little bit more sewing time this week, I probably could have got it made. It is a lovely pattern. I can definitely recommend it. It was such a lovely, pleasurable sew, especially in this cotton lawn. It just came together beautifully. I love the way the sleeves hold the puff and the colours of this fabric have just made me smile every time. I've come up to the sewing room and had some time to sew it. So could I have sewn this in two days? Absolutely. It is quite a quick sew. So why didn't I then? Well, if you've watched a few of my videos, you'll know that I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like finishing things off to the best of my ability. Number one, because I like the way that looks, and number two, because I think it just makes the garment last a lot longer if you take care over those tinier details. So for this dress, I did want to make sure I hand-picked the neckline and I'm so pleased with how that came out. I really like the bias tape sewn on by hand. I think it makes a much neater and cleaner finish and I did exactly the same thing on the cuff. So I hand-sewed the cuff to the underside of the sleeve piece and again I just prefer it without either the stitch in the ditch which never looks tidy for me or the stitching on the top I just prefer that neater finish especially on this busy fabric I just think the fewer things that you can see on the fabric the better I also decided to finish the loop for the button at the back by hand so all of those hand sewn details of course they take a little bit longer but I'm so much happier with the finish and I'd rather a project took longer and was finished to a standard that I feel happy to put on and wear. Although I can sew quickly, I really enjoy slow sewing. I enjoy finishing seams off using French seams and hand sewn seams. I really enjoy understitching things like pockets. This pattern didn't have the instruction to understitch those pockets when you insert them and I much prefer that finish because it just means they stay in place a lot more securely and keep on the inside of the dress where you want them. So I did add that extra step in. I also like gathering really slowly and carefully so my gathers are evenly spaced and just look really neatly finished. It's also not realistic for me to get projects finished in two days either in the stage of life that I'm at with three busy children and just wanting to make sure that I enjoy them whilst they're young. And I love my sewing, it really is my self-care, but it is that, it um, is my hobby, I want to make sure that I enjoy it, and so sewing things in a rush is not ever going to be something that I do. I hope that you will tune in next week to next week's vlog when I share my finished dress. So next week I'm going to share some recent makes and favourites that I have been working on as well as this dress. Uh, over the last couple of months actually and so I hope you'll come back for that video where I will share the finished dress and some other recent makes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of making this dress so far and hearing some of my thoughts at the end. So I hope you have a lovely week ahead filled with lots of happy sewing and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye!